Well, Barry, there'll be a lot of disappointed fans here today after the news that we've heard, but we're all equally gutted, aren't we? Uh, totally. I mean, I'm gutted, but I'm more gutted for the people that did the work to get us in this position. The, the crew at World Snooker are exemplary. They are the best. They work so hard to meet every government guideline, to make sure that the health and safety was paramount, and it's a real kick in the teeth for them. But, you know, we've got to pick ourselves off the floor. And get, you know, we've still got a great event to promote here, a great event to show on TV. And I am really, I mean, I walked around this morning talking to fans that come in, and the smiles on their faces, and the, they thank you for all the, the effort that's been put in by World Snooker. We're so excited to be here. Thank you for making it so safe. And now, a couple of hours after, we get a bombshell like this, and we have to take, we have to take it on the chin. There's, we can't do anything about it. But for all those people that supported us, they have my biggest thank you, big hugs, and we'll be back as quick as we can when it's safe and within government guidelines. But for the moment, the show goes on. And of course, beginning of next week, Monday, we're, we're going to announce the, the, the calendar for yep. the first half of next season. It's a packed calendar, isn't it? I mean, yep. snooker continues to grow and to thrive. Yeah, I mean, we're in a good place. Along with very few other sports, we have reserves so that we don't have to reduce our prize money. We have opportunity because of our broadcast deals. We have some great sponsors. I mean, Betfred have been unbelievably magnificent on this. Uh, so we're in a good place but we can't ignore a pandemic. You know, we can beat most things in a fair fight, but this is not a fair fight because the enemy is invisible. We can't see it, but the numbers are not invisible and that's why we have to listen to government and do as we're told. And you know, we will always do that. We will always put safety first, no matter what anyone has said about crowds and things like that, uninformed people. This was, in the words of the government department that came today, They've never seen a sport with such an exemplary safety risk analysis that we have done everything and more that far surpassed anybody else in sport. And that's down to World Snooker team and the people behind them that have done an incredible job to make everyone safe and healthy. But we can't fight against pandemic figures that really have to be controlled. In, there's a bigger picture out there for the country, not just sport. And just a word on the event itself, it's a great field here, of course, top 16 in yep. the world are all here. Looking at the qualifying rounds, we've had five debutants this year, four of those are in their mid-20s. It's, it's great uh, to see young players uh, coming through and showing their talent. Well, I think also we saw that in the qualifying rounds. 14-year-olds, 16-year-olds, 15-year-olds. This sport's in a good place. Let's not, you know, let's not get carried away with anything else. We're in this for the long run. We're not in this for a few months or a year or however long it takes to take us. When this pandemic's over, we'll be stronger than we went into it. We'll be ready for the next push. And we know we've got the players, not just the established players who are great players and great ambassadors for the game, but a whole raft of newcomers, youngsters from all over the world. This is, a, we're in a great place. We'll be stronger than we were before when this pandemic is over. And finally, one great piece of news today, our, our fantastic sponsor Betfred yeah. has announced that it's going to be donating £200 for every single century break made to Jesse May Children's Hospice at home, of course, need our help more now more than ever. All of these charities have been decimated by the absence of fundraising through the pandemic, decimated. But the services that they are required to give haven't gone away. If anything, they've increased. And of course, those hospices that we support, Jesse May being our principal one for snooker, you know, they're taking a weight off the NHS by looking after so many sick kids. And the fact that Betfred, I had the pleasure of working with them the other week on the World Match Play Darts and now on the World Snooker. You know, I know that in certain circles there's criticism of bookmakers. Let's, let's talk about the good things that bookmakers give. And there isn't anything better than Betfred and his generosity. This man is a proper player, a proper man. The company gets behind charities like Jesse May at a time of their biggest need. So I won't have a word against them. They're a joy to work with and hats off to Betfred and all the team. They are great guys. And anybody who wants to know more about Jesse May, head over to their website. Thank you very much, Barry. We look forward to a great Always a pleasure. Today. Onwards and upwards. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.